Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. We're going to be checking out the Thrommax Caster Boom Stand for your USB-C microphones. This is a great solution for those of you streaming or podcasting where you need to position the microphone in a specific way in order to maximize the quality of your audio. I quite often use a desktop stand when I'm doing my face to camera videos for YouTube because it's quite seamless. There's not a lot of uh, clutter in the way. It looks quite clean and elegant for most situations. The only downside is that you can't always get in as close as you would like to the microphone without hunching over. So having a boom stand can really help out there. Also, if you're doing voiceover work, quite often you need to get in really close to the microphone. So there's many advantages in terms of being able to get the microphone up as close as possible to the vocal source. The other thing about the desktop stand is that when you tap on the desk, you'll always hear some kind of resonance come through that desktop stand into the microphone. That can be distracting over time, especially if you're doing audio podcasts, or as I mentioned, even live streaming where you really want the best possible sound. And that's where a boom stand can really kick in and help improve not only the look of your studio, but also the overall quality of the sound. So let's take a look at what we get inside the box. First of all, you get this C-clamp, which you can attach to most desktop surfaces. It has a generous allowance of up to around eight centimeters. And you just twist this lever at the bottom and tighten it as much as you can to you get a nice firm grip on your desktop. The next thing we get is some instructions on how to actually use the boom stand. The usual Thronmax stickers, which you can add to any of your accessories. There is a 5.8 inch thread mount that fits perfectly with the M-Drill 1 and most professional grade microphones and an adapter for the smaller 3.8 inch screw mount. In addition to this, Thronmax have provided two USB adapters, including a mini USB and micro USB fitting, which you can connect to the USB-C Type 3 end of the integrated cable if you're using an alternate USB microphone that doesn't have USB-C support. In terms of the actual stand itself, let's take a quick look. I'll just take it out of the box, put that aside. As you can see, this is the boom arm here in its entirety, pretty much flexed out in the full horizontal position. You get an integrated cable and it's made of premium quality threaded material. And on one end, the base end, you get a USB type A connection to fit into most computers. And on the other end, you get the USB-C connection, which plugs straight into your microphone. In terms of the positioning of the boom arm, you get a fair degree of flexibility up and down. So normally you're going to be positioning it in the vertical position and you'll be placing it into the C mount and you can pretty much flex it all the way down beyond the 90 degrees and you can swivel it left and right around the stand 360 degrees. When you find the position you want, you can use these built-in dials to tighten and loosen, and you don't need any additional tools to operate it. So it's very intuitive and easy to manipulate during a recording session as well. And it makes virtually no noise as you're moving and repositioning the boom arm. So that's great for those of you that are podcasting and have guests in the studio perhaps that like to manipulate and adjust the boom arm whilst they're talking on that podcast. There's not really many negatives that I can bring up about this boom stand. The only thing I would have liked to have seen is more clearance to allow for the connection of your headphones. You'll notice at the top section, you don't have quite enough clearance to get a straight up and down headphone jack, in which case you'll have to get some kind of 90 degree adapter or consider monitoring using your computer. But I find there's just too much latency when I'm monitoring on my computer using the software that I use compared to when I use the headphone jack built into the microphone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.